Hello and welcome to Sunny's View on this channel. Today I'm going to show you what makes for a good, delicious, sweet corn. Today we're going to be grilling some corn inside of the husk. For those of you who don't know what the husk is, I'm going to show you the corn. This is how it comes out of the field. And this skin is called the husk. So we're going to take some of this off and I'm going to show you how to grill this outside on your grill. And you're talking about something delicious. You don't want to miss this. So with that in mind, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do before you begin to grill outside your corn on the cob that's inside the husk, the first thing we want to do, we're going to, um, you're going to need a bag. Let's get a bag real quick. I'm going to use the old Walmart bag of some sort. We're going to come over to the sink, but let me show you how the corn is going to come. It's going to come exactly like this. And this is how it is grown in the field with all the silk at the top, and this is the skin, which is called the husk, we discussed that. But we're gonna go over to the sink to do this because we're gonna, um, we're gonna take some of the outer layer skin off until we get close to the corn itself. And then we're gonna open that up. We're gonna take out the silk. We're gonna rinse it and reclose it. So let's go ahead and go over to the sink and get started with that. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do, you wanna get over the sink. You wanna be inside of your sink when you do this because it will be a, just a little bit messy, not too bad. But I see a lot of people, when I go inside the store, when they buy the corn like this, you have a lot of people inside the store picking this off in the store, just leaving it everywhere. And I hate that, I really hate that. And a lot of people don't know that, um, a lot of people do that because they think the corn on the inside is not gonna be a good, good corn. But you can determine whether or not it's a good corn by looking on the outside. As long as it doesn't have any molding or um, mildew or any type of black spots on the outside of the corn, you're fairly going to get a good corn because it's protected by the silk that it grows in. So you're going to get a pretty, a pretty good corn. Now I just uh, purchased these corn from Aldi and they had them for 19 cents each. And my family, lo we love corn. And what's so special about this corn? I like the mystery inside. You don't know if you're going to get white and yellow corn mixed together and that is so delicious when it comes that way but the first thing you want to do let's go ahead and turn the water on we're going to begin to take a couple of layers of the skin off of the husk leave your your base here for a second i'm going to show you why you're going to peel that off discard it in your bag come around continue to do this we're going to take off the the heavier part take off some of these layers because there's too many layers in order to cook it some people will cook this corn just like this with the silk and all, but I prefer to clean my inside first. I'm going to take it down, and you, you're wondering probably, well, how would I know how far to go? Well, when you're taking the husk off, you're going to begin to see through the husk, the skin that's closer to the base of the corn. You're going to begin to see through it just a little bit. So let's probably take off, I want to take off probably two more layers of it. Okay, so we're getting close because you can see the indentment of the corn. So this is the last layer that I'm going to take off. This one and maybe let's go ahead and take off that one. Okay, now here's the fun part. For me it is. We're going to take this. We're not going to pull it off. We're going to just pull it down. Let's go ahead and pull that down. Pull it down. Go to the very top of your corn. We're going to pull it down. Turn your corn around and begin to pull that husk to get down. Now what you're left with on the inside is the silk that protects the corn. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that corn. We have a mixture of the white corn with the yellow corn and I love the taste of yellow and white together. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take our hand at the top. We're going to pull this back down. Because we want to take the silk off. We're going to discard this. Store it in your bag that you have over on the opposite side of your sink. Begin to pick the majority of that silk off. Okay, here is where you want to place it under water. You want to pick the silk off. You're going to rinse it off real good with that skin tilt down. Rinse it real good. Now look how pretty that is. 
Isn't that pretty? Okay, for those of you who like season on your corn, I would advise you to go ahead and put the season on your corn before you close it back up. And I'm gonna show you some different season salts that you can put on. Okay, so now that we have peeled all of the silk off the, off the corn, and remember we left this hus husk or the skin layered down. Now, if you want it seasoned on your, your corn, I would advise you to place it on there now before you close it up. Now, there are some people who diet won't allow them to have any salt. The best kind of season to use in that case is Mrs. Dash. It is totally salt free. And this is the garlic and herb kind. So what you wanna do is hold your corn over the sink and you're gonna turn it and sprinkle. It's gonna fall some places unless you want to do it in a bowl but just go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of that on there doesn't that look delicious I would prefer to do it in a bowl reason being because the season that falls in the very bottom of your bowl you can just roll the other corn inside of it now that we have placed that season on that corn we can close it up start from your bottom layer we're gonna work our way back around in a circle very simple I don't know if it's something about the skin that makes it even sweeter but corn, you don't ever want to boil corn, never. You take all of the nutrients and the flavoring out of the corn. So how simple that is. You may have some scraggly edges that didn't cover all the way, but that's okay. The majority of the corn is covered. And now we're gonna break that end off. And we're gonna place it in our container to be grilled. Now for those of you who do not have any medical condition where you can put seasoned salt on your, your corn, you can use whatever kind of seasoned salt you want to, but that try that Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. You're gonna love that. Or you can use this Morton Season All Salt. It has salt inside of it and other type of um, seasoning in it. But I prefer to use that Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. I have gone ahead already to do a couple of corns. As you can see, this corn don't have any, it don't have any season on it. Some are gonna have season and some are not gonna have season. Okay, I have cleaned all of the corn inside of the husk. As you can see, it turned out pretty good. We close that back up and now we're gonna head outside to the grill so we can begin the process of cooking these good, sweet, delicious corn. So stay tuned. Okay, so we don't have any good weather outside today, but we're still going to grill today. And what I have done is prepared the other side of my grill because I have some meat cooking on the other side. But today is all about the fresh corn. We're going to take the corn and we're going to place it inside of the husk, the skin. We're going to place just place it face down with the skin covering. You may have a couple of scraggly edges that didn't cover. That's fine. And get it get as many as possible on the grill, as close as possible. And there's a technique that I use for grilling for is putting my charcoal inside my pan. Check out one of my videos on that. So I'm going to try to place as many corns as possible on this grill. Okay, so I was able to get 12 on there. So we're going to cook these a little later. I'm going to come back and turn it every 10 minutes. And this is going to cook out here for at least, we're going to do about an hour. So we're going to come back and check the process of the corn later. Okay, so it's been approximately one hour. One thing that I failed to mention is when you're cooking your corn, make sure you only use a few pieces of charcoal to cook it because you want it to slow cook. And that, that way you're able to cook it for one hour. Let's go ahead and pull our corn from the grill. Look at that, isn't that, doesn't that look delicious? And it's gonna begin to peel. You see how that corn is looking? I'm gonna go ahead and pull all those right quick. And there are some that have the season on it. There's some corn with the season on it. And you have some with the, the, the grilling mark on it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all those, take those on the inside. And we're gonna plate this up. This is our dinner for tonight. We're gonna serve that up with some other things like some ribs. Doesn't that look delicious? Fresh corn been cooked in the husk doesn't that look delicious okay stay tuned we'll be right back
Okay, we have brought corn in off the grill. We're gonna platter it. We're gonna set it on the platter. And I'm gonna show you how to serve this up for presentation. You're gonna take your crust and you're gonna pull it back. And you're just gonna wind that up on your platter. The presentation is everything, but tasting, to taste something that's good and delicious, oh my goodness, it's just divine. I'm gonna pull all that back. Now it's optional, let's do a couple more right quick before I get into that because you know I like to get ahead of myself. You see how that looks? That looks delicious. Look how fresh that corn is and how hot it is. Okay, I'm going to do a few more. My hands are clean so don't worry about that part because you know me. Okay, that's enough right now. I'm going to move these over to the side. So when you're serving it up for guests who's coming over, isn't that presentation that is just beautiful. If you want, it's optional. You can take a bowl of melted butter. And for those of you have, who have medical conditions, you can use this butter called, I cannot believe it's not butter. Let me see if I have some in my refrigerator. For those of you who have medical condition and you can't use the margarine or the butter, this is another good alternative. It's, I can't believe it's not butter. I don't have that in my pan right now. I have some regular margarine. So what I'm going to do is take my spatula and just gently coat it. And we're going to serve this up tonight for dinner for family and friends who are coming over. I don't know why everybody want me to cook all the time, but it is what it is, so. Isn't that pretty? Okay, there you have it. Fresh grilled corn that was cooked in the husk outside. Enjoy. So I hope you've enjoyed the time we've shared together in making fresh corn on the grill. Until next time, be blessed.